Right guys, I'm going to be playing War Robots Frontiers and I'm playing this on my MSI Raider GE67HX gaming laptop. I'm just going to show you, I'm actually over, well, not overclocking it as yet. Uh, it's actually running 1500 megahertz on GPU. Memory is 8000 megahertz. Uh, volts is 1081 millivolts. Temperature is 46 degrees Celsius. Right, so that's MSI Afterburner. Uh, but on MSI Center, I'm running Extreme uh, Performance. I'm, I'm using Cooler Boost, that's the fan. Uh, for the GPU, I'm running 200 megahertz. VRAM is also 200 megahertz, right? And obviously, I just upgraded my drivers today. On NVIDIA, I've got the new drivers. You know, that's the NVIDIA GeForce experience. Right, so I'm using DS4 Windows. I'm using the mobility center. My laptop is running on high performance. The Wi-Fi is um, running on game fast. And the other mode it's running on is extreme game mode. So this is the Wi-Fi. Uh, oh yeah, you know what? I just remembered I've got other programs that I use on this laptop. You know why I forgot about them? Because <laughs> I've been playing games on the Steam Deck. So <laughs> I, forgot. I forgot I've got other programs on this laptop. Right, so I'm going to use uh, uh, this um, Omen Gaming Hub. I'm also going to use uh, Game Ready. Game Ready is just the software that I downloaded for my laptop. Right, so it says turn on game mode. So I'm going to turn this on. This does exactly what uh, Omen Gaming Hub does. The only difference is Omen Gaming Hub is free to download. And this one is not, uh, well, it's like a trial. You know, you, you get this uh, game ready. And then uh, it's a software called Game Ready. It's a, you know, for a while, it's free. And then obviously, as time goes on, you need to pay for it. So it's not exactly free. But Omen Gaming Hub, I told you guys, you can get this from Microsoft Store. It's free software. It will boost your Steam Deck. I use this on Steam Deck and I use this on my laptop. So it's just boosting my uh, laptop. I'm gonna run a cleaner. So this cleaner is just scanning for free RAM. Uh, my laptop does has, I have 32 gigs of RAM, so it's got plenty. Plus uh, the, it's got an NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti laptop GPU, which has got 16 gigs of VRAM. So in terms of RAM, it's got plenty. Plenty for gaming and plenty for Right, so after this game, War of Frontiers, I will be playing Call of Duty 3 Modern Warfare. After Call of Duty 3 Modern Warfare, I will be playing Fortnite. Right, so this uh, War of Frontiers does have an external launcher, but you need to launch the game from Steam first. And after you launch it from Steam, then the game will launch its own uh, browser, I mean its own uh, loading screen. But it does launch from Steam. Um, there was, um, for a while, the game was uh, free to download for a little while. Uh, but as time has gone on, the game now is uh, back on sale for $12. I did tell you guys that it's worth buying. Uh, okay, so I don't want anything from here. This is the Battle Pass, actually. Right, they're actually selling a pilot. But I want these weapons. So I'm going to get this uh, scatter weapon, happy about that, I want to get the other scatter weapon, uh, right, and I, I'm going to, I'm going to try to aim, right, I can't get all of them, which is a, a pity, but I did, I did want uh, to get all of them, so I, only, I managed to get two of the scatter weapons, I need the other two. And then obviously, uh, I'll have four. Right, so I'm gonna go into this says inventory. I don't really need it. I'm gonna go to my hangar. I need to find a robot that's gonna take these scatter weapons. Uh, this robot's got two rampant, those are grenade launching weapons. It's got two um, oak cans, those are rockets that do not need the targeting, you know, like target in front of them. They just fire rockets basically. It's got a pulser, so I, there's no room on that one. This one, I think it's got five shredders on it. No, three shredders. And let's see, what else does it have? 
Oh, it's got two Vortex 3 Shredders. Right, uh, I'm not gonna use this one there. I'm gonna leave this one alone. I mean, it's all right, it, the weapons are fine. This one's got four Shredders and it's got, uh, goes, uh, that's a laser weapon in the middle. Uh, this one has got, this is Raven. It's got two Orcans and two Flame Pros on it. This one is also fine. This one has got uh, energy weapons, two Orcans and an uh, incinerate weapon. Right, so I think with this one, I would like to try and put the scatter weapons if I can. If it lets me, so it's it's a bit of a hit and miss because sometimes this game will allow you to swap weapons. But if your robot cannot carry them because they're too heavy, then you you have to upgrade your robot, obviously. I want to put the scatter weapons on this one. Surely because the scatter weapons, these are sound weapons, they do cause a lot of damage. And the, the, the sound can travel through the walls. So, for example, if a robot is standing, be, um, tries to run away from you, and you're able to attack that robot, it's saying it's heavy. Ah, but it's only by one. Right, so I, I just need to see what I can remove. The incendiary weapon. Okay, if, if I take this thing off and put a Goza instead, right, so it's going to allow the Goza, but it means I leave, I, I lose the incendiary. So I need to find a robot that's going to carry the incendiary weapon instead. So let's see. Right, it's saying it's too heavy. This robot can't carry it. Uh, out of all my robots, I think it's only one. Um, this one doesn't have any abilities on it. Uh, the second one has regeneration. That's healing. Um, this one is a harpy. It's got regeneration as well. The one I showed you was a raven. Uh, this one is a Fafnir. It's got regeneration. And this one here... That's a uh, Fury robot, I, uh, and this one has um, doesn't have any abilities. Now, if I say it's got no abilities, it doesn't mean the built-in ability, because every every robot has got built-in abilities. So I'm not talking about that. I'm talking strictly about the when I say ability, I'm talking about the ability you can add to the robot. So every robot has its own ability, right? So this has an issue. It's saying already saying it's too heavy the incinerator is too heavy that's a problem i'm trying to work out so what am i supposed to do then okay so if if i'm thinking if i take away the rampants if i take these away right because i have to make it fit i i can't i do like the rampants but um if if that's gonna um benefit somehow I mean, I don't have any other robot that can carry those, um, those, uh, that incinerary weapon. Incinerary is a heavy weapon for, it's a flamethrower, okay? So that's what I'm talking about. So it's a flamethrower, and I'm trying to look for a, another robot that can carry this, um, right. So I'm trying to look for another robot that can carry, um, this, uh, Where's that thing again? What did I move? I moved the... Uh, are these all cans that I moved? I think I moved all cans, right? Oh, no, no. Rampant. Okay, the grenade launching weapons. Right, so it did have flamethrowers, but I'm going to move those and give it the uh, rampants instead. I hope this works. Right, so I hope it works solely because... Um, right, it's not gonna let me carry another ability. That's a pity because I mean, the robot does have energy in reserve, it's got uh, reserved energy. Uh, so I took the lighters away. I don't think it's going to allow um, the kind of weapons that I want to put. The lighters are just. Um, gonna be way too heavy for this robot um, to handle so I'm going back to the fury this is a mixture of fury Lancelot and um, uh, purifier right so I want to see uh, if it's gonna allow 
me to add um, other weapons uh, onto this. If I add the lighters, it will accept the lighters, but you see they're too heavy. So I, I, I already know it's not going to accept those. The, the, the rail guns as well, they're too heavy. The weapons I'm thinking about are the Vortex. I mean, sorry, the... I'm saying Vortex. I'm, uh, Vortex are the heat seeking missiles. I'm talking about um, the Shredders. Because the Shredders, they seem to fit everywhere. If you if you ever run, if you ever looking for a weapon, oh wow. Okay, so it's it's saying it's an energy problem now. <laughs> it's an energy problem. I'm like, why? What's going on with this thing? Oh damn. Can I upgrade this? I can't upgrade. I don't have enough. Um, it's saying it's an energy problem. That's that's a huge issue. I can't upgrade the legs. Those these legs are purifier legs. Unless I can find something else that can carry. Right. So these purifier legs are level um, three. I need to look for something like a, like a Lancelot or something else that's going to help. Right, so you see here, when, when, when I do try and look for the legs, you see automatically it's telling me that the weight is too much. It has the power. The power is there, but now the weight is too much, you see? So it's saying the weight is too much. I told you the incendiary is... Um, is a heavy weapon it's a flamethrower it's just good to have it you know oh wait it's saying if i put the fury it's gonna accept this okay cool wait okay okay the fury it's accepted the fury right so the legs of the fury are level two it's accepted it's saying that that one will do right so the top part of my of my robot so that's a fury uh the, the um, i think the torso is also a fury but the shoulders are lancelot level four and level four right i just want to see what level uh fury is uh the torso is level four and the legs are level two um to upgrade them would cost me a hundred and ninety two thousand uh spare parts so I need to upgrade it. So it's allowed the Fury to, to be there. Right? I just want to see if it's going to let me carry a, an ability. I don't think it will because it was complaining about power. But I do have some extra power available. Uh, it's saying it's not going to let me carry any um, anything that's to do with uh, energy. Okay, how about on this side? You, you, you get two abilities you can add to your robot. I know what you're thinking, so what are these abilities for? Well, it can be anything. Sometimes you get a gun to it, something you can throw on the field that will just start firing. It's always different, so it just depends on what you want. Right, so I'm going to jump in the game, and when I'm playing the game, I will tell you guys what I'm doing in the game. It'll, it'll just make more sense. Wait, what do I have on settings? I think this is using the settings that I had before. Uh, which is the um, yeah so it's still on the medium settings the other thing I have to say is if you do play this on your laptop maybe it's the best thing to do is um, just change the upscaling because like me I'm using Nvidia so if I if I am gonna play this on my Steam Deck I would change this to a uh, FSR 2 but because I'm playing this on this on my laptop which is supports Nvidia I change it to DLSS uh the 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 d the mode is still the same performance it's just the upscaling that i changed you understand so the graphics are the same as on the steam deck so the reason why i'm saying this is because if, if you if you are playing this on your laptop on epic and you suddenly change to your steam deck and you, you use the same account it's, it's still going to keep the game on epic and it may not work properly on your steam deck so what I suggest you do is you need to make sure that when you before you you change uh, before you sw uh, swap between your laptop and your uh, Steam Deck, change the graphics settings to medium. It makes it easier. So when you jump into the game, it will work properly.
Right, so I'm going to mention what I've got on my laptop. <laughs> I'm saying my laptop. I, I mean on my robot. So this robot has got uh, two all cans. It's got the two scatters. And it's got a Goza. The Goza is a laser weapon. Right, so we're playing. It appears like um, we're playing Domination. Right, so I did tell you guys the best thing to do with this um, you need to make sure that um, the War Robots Frontiers does recognize your DualSense controller. So I'm, I'm using a DualSense controller to play the game. Yeah. So fortunately, uh, on my laptop, it's plug and play with the DualSense. I didn't need to do much. Uh, the reason why I use uh, DS4 Windows, I know you're probably wondering. If it's plug and play, why do you need to use a uh, mapping software? Sometimes, Sometimes there may be uh, things that I want to change in the game. You understand? Or um, maybe not this game. In, in any other game that I, I want to play on. You, you know what I mean? So there may be something that I want to change. And then I just find it slightly easier to, to change. Where does this guy go to? Oh, wow. Where's this guy at? Oh, shit. Wow! Damn! What? Oh my god. Damn it, man. I really like that robot. I didn't even get to, to, to test it out. Right, this is the Raven. Uh, it's got two rampants and it's got two um, Orcans. I'm really disappointed because I really wanted to test that robot. This guy, I, I fought with him last time, and and um, yeah, I think his his his, uh, his weapons are really powerful. Right, so I don't know where this guy has gone to. Right, so it seems like um, so this is a Raven robot. Right, I'm kind of disappointed. I I really wanted to 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 test that um, to test that robot. Because you know it's the one I put the scatters on. So I was kind of disappointed. Wow, we got it. Nice one. Right. So the pilots do talk. The pilots do talk when you capture beacons. The pilots will talk when you destroy robots. And if you keep destroying robots, it will be counting them uh, and telling you how many you've uh, actually taken out. Oh damn right the one thing i'm noticing is i do need to uh, actually improve the the volume i need to increase it no it's a bit too low 50 is too low i need to increase it to at least 60. i thought it was gonna be a bit louder but it's not as loud as i thought it would be right this game i can actually run this on epic on my laptop but like i said if you are going to be swapping from to your uh, Steam Deck after playing the game it's just more advisable to actually play uh, to change the graphics you need to change the graphics to uh, to medium so I'm using regeneration I think this guy's got heavies I think those are thunders I'm not really sure I've got a gozer that's a laser weapon and I've got four shredders on me I'm not the one who destroyed him. Uh, I, I'm not sure who actually got him. I think it's the dude behind me. You see that dude there? It's him. He got him. Uh, so he got the kill. So how how do I know? Ah, my Titan's available, right? So how do I know that it wasn't me? Uh, because it will actually tell you. Your, your pilot will tell you if you, when you destroy a robot, your pilot talks. So that's how I know that it's not me. So this is a happy robot. I've got bulwark legs. Um, I've got bulwark chassis. The chassis is just the legs. If I say chassis, I'm talking about the legs and torso is the top. Right, so the bottom part of this robot is a bulwark. I think it's level six. 
the happy part I think is uh, oh damn this guy um, every robot does come with its own ability this guy is oh what the hell is this thing it's, this guy is really trying he's really trying his best nice one I got him right so the happy has got a built-in ability just like the Fafnir I've got a Fafnir robot, I've got a Happy, I've got a Raven, and uh, Fury has a built-in ability, but the ability for Fury isn't as good because it's just reloading of the weapons. Right, so my Titan is available. Wow, there's two of these robots here. That guy's got three heavy weapons on him, and I'm pretty sure his weapons are sniping weapons. So all he needs is one shot on me, and it's going to cause a lot of damage but I, I am causing damage to him as well that guy's gonna he wants to take me out you see when you destroy a robot your pilot talks that's how I know that I didn't destroy that other dude remember when I told you guys that I, I knew that I wasn't the one who, who destroyed that other one right so this one's got vortex on it those are hit second missiles and it's got um, Wow, we got this guy. So this is a Fafnir robot. And um, the build on it, I know the bottom part is not Fafnir. I think it's between the Fury and the Bulwark. I'm not sure. Uh, the shoulders, I don't know what the shoulders are. I think the shoulders are Varenge, Varengian shoulders. Because I've got a Varengian robot. I've got the whole build. The shoulders, the torso and the chassis. So I know you're gonna say, why don't you use it? Well, because it, it doesn't carry five weapons. Not every robot in this game can carry five weapons. The, the ones that carry up to five is the Harpy, the Fury, um, you know, things like that. You have, to, you have to use the correct build. Right, where's this dude at? I think it's behind here. Okay, there he is. It's a whole lot easier to attack these dudes. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my God, getting pulverized there. Right, I've got three. Oh my God, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Oh, thank God. See, I was glowing red. I knew I was about to die. Right, I've got two uh, Vortex. Vortex does require a target. But the good thing about, oh, someone's got, um, Someone's got an Alpha Titan. I think it's the enemy team that's got an Alpha. That's not a good sign. But that guy is running in. He's gonna try and help him. Oh my god. Oh, damn. My robot was knocked out. I'm going straight to my Titan. Solely because we are kind of winning the game. But because the, the enemy team does have two titans and they do have an alpha titan So I think it's it's high time for us to have uh, at least our own, you know, our own titan There you go, so I'm gonna use There you go, oh my god Oh my god, this guy is trying to annihilate me Did I get someone? No I think the guy is too clever, he, he moved out the way Right, so we've got most of the warp gates, they don't hold a lot of them. You know what, I'm gonna go to the top, solely because I don't know where what they've got in terms of a Titan. I'm hoping they, they've got um, an Alpha, might be an Alpha, oh come on man. Right, if you wanna cancel uh, targeting on some something, if you wanna cancel targets, uh, then uh, you need to press if you're using dual sense press the O button. I Think the O is like a B button on your Xbox and that's how you cancel a command right, so I, I can't see where the Titans are at. I know there's two Titans on the enemy side. I just don't know what they've got Right boom 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 got him nice one he has been destroyed. 
So, like I said, I don't know what kind of titans they've got. Right, that dude's fighting someone on that side. Um, this game does support destructive um, buildings. So if you do shoot a building or if your titan or robot goes uh, towards a building, you can actually cause damage. We won the game. Nice one. That was actually good. But the only thing that was heartbreaking was the fact that I lost that robot the first time. And you know, that's why I put the scatter weapons. At the end of every match to show you the robot that did the most damage. So this one with the Goza, that's Harpy. And Harpy has got the four shredders, the machine guns and the Gozer, which is a laser weapon. So at the end of every match, it, re it gives you an award, a reward, and obviously it's going to show you which robot did the most damage. 